All right. For some reason, I am seeing that my Linux system is uh, booting into the maintenance mode. Not sure what is wrong. So just trying to troubleshoot. As you can see, it just started booting up. So it's now saying that welcome to emergency mode. And it asks me to log in as root. So it does let me log in. So, yep. So I just now logged in as root here, as you can see. But definitely whenever if I try to reboot, it is still going to emergency mode and then giving me the option to log in as root. It should idly not go to emergency mode and give me the normal boot process. I mean, the not, it should do the normal boot process and let me log in without entering into emergency mode. So that indicates something is wrong. And the system wants me to uh, see the underlying problem and fix it. So I just built up this machine on top of VMware um, workstation and I installed this Linux machine. So yep, it again went to the same mode. So let me just see here, what are the devices that are connected with it? So we have disk SDA and SDB. Under SDA we have three partitions, one for boot, one for swap, and one is root partition, which is SDA3. SDB is a very small desk just created for testing purpose. It's a one GB. It has one GB SDB one. And under that partition, I have created a test VG and a test logical volume of 500 megabits, as you can see here. And in SDB two, I have ASIF VG and ASIF LV here, uh, which is 120. Uh, megabit. So I did some changes on these, uh, you know, logical volume a couple of days back, and I think maybe something is corrupt, which is causing the system to boot into the maintenance uh, emergency mode all the time. So I'm just checking what could be wrong here. So if I just run FSCK, yeah, I think that spits out a little bit information, which is very useful as you can see the file system size according to the super block is 262144 blocks the physical size of the device is 131072 blocks that's okay either the super block or the partition table is likely to be corrupt okay so some of the file system may be corrupt i need to run the fsck so let's run FSCK, which checks your file system and repairs any kind of inode mismatches and fixes the, you know, the LVM. So let me do it on the uh, test VG and test LV. I mean, on the test LV and see if that does anything here. Okay, so what it says is, you know, it's not able to find that particular uh, some of the uh, super blocks. So it's a kind of corruption. Um, and as you just wanted to let you know, this I have installed on my laptop VMware workstation. On the top of that, we have a Linux virtual machine. So these spaces are definitely getting, you know, um, allocated from my hard drive that I have assigned to this virtual machine. So definitely there's nothing wrong with the hardware here, though it's a super block. So something wrong within the you know, logical volume of this particular VM, of this particular virtual machine itself. Uh, with running FSCK, it 
couldn't fix it, so I'm going to give it a try with E2FSC. If you see, that is what it recommends at the end. So, which is a newer uh, version of FSCK, which may have enhanced capability uh, capabilities to run. So, yeah, let me try with that. E2 FSCK. This super block could not be read or does not describe a correct ext2 file system. So if corrupt, you and you might try running it to FSCK with an alternate super block. Okay, that does not work. Let me try on. I have to check what exactly the magic it's talking about. Um, let me try the RCF VG hyphen RCF. We and see what we get here. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me just uh, let me first go ahead and remove this from the EDCFS tab. So when it boots, it ignores the LVM that has been mounted here. And I think it's the RCFLV which is causing the problem. So I'm just trying a reboot now. Let's see if it goes to the emergency mode. Or if it directly gives me the login without going to the emergency mode. Okay, so this time it does not, it did not go to the emergency mode. So with that, I can, I am rest assured, I am sure right now that it is the issue with the ASIF LV, which was on dev uh, LSPLK. It's a wonderful command that you can see. It's on SDB2. So FDISC slash dev slash sdb2 All right, guys, I just tried unmounting SDB and I found an article on Red Hat website to run GFS underscore FSCK on that particular LVM, which is uh, having the problem. So let me try that GFS underscore FSCK. So GFS underscore FSCK slash hyphen B for Bobos hyphen Y for ES on dev 
It says E2FSCK can't read a block bitmap while retrying to read bitmaps for um, dev asif bg asif lb. So I have no clue what exactly is the issue right now. I'm going to pause the video for a couple of minutes and I have a quick check as to why the uh, file system check is not performing on this particular logical volume. I'm sure that's the step, that's the uh, command that needs to be run. But I'm going to do a quick research on this and resume the video again, the recording again. Thank you. Okay, guys, I just uh, did some research and I found that we there was some some issues with the space allocation of the LVM. Definitely what I did and what could have caused the problem is I... Um, uh, you know, extended the logical volume size and then try the LV reduce and somehow some space was not done correctly and that could have corrupted it. So after my research under SDB uh, 2, I see Asif VG LV as 128 MB and then what I did is I did, um, I ran a command uh, to resize it to make it to one GB, like kind of proper space that I wanted to give it to it. Um, so, after giving it the, you know, the one GB size, uh, after resizing it and after running the FSCK on, if you see now it's one GB, it's been increased, SDB2 has been increased to, 1 GB uh, and the LV size is 1 GB right now and I ran the file system check. So it did run all these checks here and it did it checks on so many files and these are the super blocks or blocks that it has detected right now. So I'm going to see if I'm still seeing any errors or not. Guys, so I just, uh, you know, uh, updated the size of the logical volume to 1 GB. And what I did was I went to EDC FS tab. Right. I mean, I'm just going to EDC FS tab and I'm going to go ahead and remove this logical volume I mean sorry I'm gonna remove the hash symbol from that logical volume because I'm thinking after I ran the E2, E2 FSC kit repaired the file system so I'm going to put to the final test now so it's now uh, on the ETC FS tab I'm going to do a reboot and see if it's still going to the uh, emergency mode or whether it's going to boot up into the normal mode So it booted right up and I will summarize this particular recording.
So it's mounted. To start with, uh, let me just brief you once again what happened. So I, as you can see, I added here the disk, another disk of 5 GB, very small size because this is my personal computer. And just for testing purpose, I did. So SDA, this was created when the, when the VM was created and 20 GB was allocated out of which, you know, um, three partitions were created slash boot swap and partition the slash partition, which is 17.7 GB. I didn't want to disturb anything within this particular partition because if something goes wrong, then it brings down your entire system. So I added another disk, just gave 5 GB to test and created uh, two partitions out of it, SDB1, SDB2 on each partition. I created two uh, logical volume. First, you need to create a, a physical volume PV create on the disk, then you create a VG on it, and then you create the logical volume on top of that. So this one was 500, and this one was pretty small. Uh, initially, it was not very small. It was somewhere around 500 um, gig as well, but then I tried reducing it and then tried extending it, I think, somewhere. It didn't allocate the space correctly, and somehow it got corrupted or something. So after all my research, yeah, and because of that, when I rebooted the, the Linux machine, it was going to emergency mode, and when I run the FSCK, it was giving the errors. So after a couple of check and you know some research, I found that I have to resize it, and after the resize, it should bring up to the right amount, uh, right size. So this was the command, uh, the command that I ran to resize it was this was the command LV resize hyphen L and I gave the, so capital L, you know, means you have to mention how much of space you want to add. So you, how much of a space you want to do and if small L will tell you the extent size. So I gave one GB on the RSF LV and it resized it to one GB and then I ran the FSCK and it worked perfectly fine on that particular volume. And after the, uh, reboot, you know, after I enabled it from ETCFS tab and after I gave a reboot, it didn't go to emergency mode, it just came up fine. And as you can see, it looks absolutely fine to me right now. So that was it for now. I'll come up with further more videos related with Linux as well as with networking. Thanks for your time.